Ah, oh, it's you fucking assholes again. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're going to be covering Masada vs. Jun Kasai from WrestleCon 2013. WrestleCon is a multi-day pro wrestling convention that's been held every year since 2013, so this was the very first WrestleCon. WrestleCon is just Comic Con for wrestlers, and it took place on April 5th, 2013 at the Meadowlands Expo Center in New Jersey. It actually runs during WWE's WrestleMania weekend. We get a shot of the ring set up with all the weapons and we see the ring announcer climb into the ring and call the men out to the match. Kasai makes his way to the ring with his goggles on, wearing a hoodie with the hood up, and he walks through the crowd and he climbs on the top rope and poses and gets in the ring. Next we see Masada make his way to the ring, and this is the first match I've ever covered from him. Masada walks around the ring and sticks his hands up for the fans, and then he walks around and stares at Kasai, and he climbs in as Kasai puts his goggles on the turnbuckle, and then both men get introduced into the match, and the bell rings, and the men get face to face and start it off. I think you fans know it, Masada is quite frankly unbeatable inside the combat zone. So we had to call in the crazy monkey. Kasai pushes Masada, and then the men walk around the ring for like two minutes, and then the bell rings, and they go for a collar and elbow tie -up. The first time with their very own eyes, these fans are going to lay eyes on two men tearing each other apart. Here we go. Kasai gets behind Masada and teases the pane of glass, and then Masada gets behind him and starts teasing the gusset plate. The waist lock. Masada with a reversal, trying to push each other into these weapons of destruction. Kasai fighting for his career, making sure he doesn't go in those gusset plays. Now Masada doing the same. Kasai gives Masada a snapmare and then puts him in a chin lock, and Masada reverses that and puts him in a hammer lock. Several days, several days he constantly just had a cut on his arm that wouldn't stop leaving. Yeah, you can go back and get that DVD courtesy of rmvideo.com. New Heights 2011. That was that was probably one of the sick like Danny Havoc using the broken board as a bat and just the blood instantly coming out of his shoulder. Masada turns the hammer lock into a pin but only gets a two count and the men get back on their feet. Masada almost loses his balance and then they go for another collar and elbow tie up. His career, this could be possibly the last the last ball you insinuated. Quite possibly the last time we could see him in the con Masada pushes Kasai into the corner and then takes him to the ground and then both men counter each other's moves till they get back on their feet. Masada, the man who has not been pinned in a combat zone ring in two years. Kasai sticks his hand out for a handshake and Masada accepts. And when it happens, we will see bloodshed like we haven't seen since probably World War II. Kasai tricked Masada and kicks him in the stomach and tries to put his head into a gusset plate, but Masada won't let him do it, so Kasai punches him in the back a few times and then sticks his forehead into it. Plate boards, and I think he's just about there. Oh. Kasai sticks Masada's head into the gusset plates again, and then he tries to run at him, and he almost bounces off the ropes, but stops in time, and then runs off the ropes again and bounces off the gusset plates, and Masada puts him in a small package. Oh, oh. Kasai trying to run the ropes, instinct. Sada only gets a two count and then they stand up and he gives Kasai some chops. Hard mm. chop from Asada, make it a double. Sada tries to Irish whip Kasai and Kasai reverses it and they do this kind of awkward thing where they are trying to push each other around the ring and then Kasai gives him a drop kick through the pane of glass. Of the crazy monkey. And that skin slap. Masai cuts Masada's head with a piece of glass and then chews up some glass and spits it into the crowd. So they call the crazy monkey using the shrapnel as a weapon right across the forehead of Masada. And now he's dipping with it. He's treating it like skull. Masada leaves the ring and Kasai follows him out there and it looks like he just goes up to him and grabs him by the hair and starts pulling on it. And then he takes Masada and hits his head on the ring apron and Masada goes over by the barricade and Kasai hits him in the back with a chair. Just prized in the combat zone. Oh, to use. 
pulls out a steel chair. Yeah, that, that's the trash pile. Sai goes and grabs a second chair and puts it in the ring and Masada comes up and attacks him and throws him over the guardrail and then grabs a chair and hits him in the head with it three times in a row. Using the guardrail as a weapon. Anything that's not bolted down with these two will be used as a weapon. Oh! Masada! Yeah, it's not like the cringe where his heart threw three times. I think it just gets blacker and blacker. Oh! With each... Oh! Chair shot, just a plate shot, whatever shot. Masada chucks the chair and gets hyped up by the crowd and then he goes up to Kasai and punches him in the face a few times and throws him into the ring and then he tells him to suck his nuts and hits him in the face with a chair. Win death matches especially. Masada now with that... Wow, hard classic chair across the crane. Masada goes for the pin and only gets a two count, so he picks up Kasai and starts digging his head into the bar by a rope. And Masada just slicing open the forehead, digging into the flesh with a crazy monkey. Well, surprisingly, drops up rally behind. Masada uppercuts Kasai into the corner and gives him a chop and then snap mares him and kicks him in the back. He is opened up massively. Very unique face to start with. And then when he covered crowd him. breaks out into a Masada chant, so he stands on the second rope and Kasai throws a chair at his back. Quite a while in Big Japan and Freedom's Pro Wrestling. It's about 15 years now for the crazy monkey. Oh! The Masada actually. Sai grabs Masada by the head and hits his head into the turnbuckle and then whips him into the opposite corner and runs and spears him and then gives him a snap suplex and climbs the top rope and gives him a diving headbutt. Side now has got him hooked up. Sort of like a cross between a suplex and a DDT there. A low angle on that. They had a snap type effect to it. Well, here we go. We've seen this from Drew Kasai in the past. He has no problem going high risk. Oh! Diving headbutt. Sai goes for the pin and only gets a two count, so he hits Masada with the chair, and Masada picks up his own chair, and they have a chair war until Kasai knocks it out of his hands and throws a chair at his head. On the ultraviolet beast, I think we're about to get a chair shot war. Oh, God! I think he might just dislocate his wrist. And he might have caught Masada right above it's the It's about to get fucking real. Kasai grabs two chairs and he leans the Guzzle plate board against it. And then he picks up Masada and he goes for a tiger suplex. He's a builder, but he's not the Richard Card monkey. Masada blocks it and he takes Kasai and he power bombs him back first into the gusset plate and Kasai no sells it and charges him again and Masada trips him and he goes face first into a fucking gusset plate, bro. It's so sick. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's back. He oh. 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 Sai is so lucky he didn't hit his fucking eyeballs on the gusset plate, but he starts bleeding like a stuck fucking pig. Oh, head and face first into that gusset plate board. Oh, God. Masada immediately gives Kasai a German suplex, and Kasai no-sells it, and they clothesline each other three times until Kasai gives him a DDT. Oh, fuck it up! Oh, fucking God. Look at all the blood coming from the face, the skull, the crazy monkey, but he's still fighting! I think the crazy monkey... Dude, look at fucking Kasai's face. He is covered in blood. This is like a really high rating on the Muda scale, which I think I'm going to make a video on soon. Upper body is starting to be covered in his own blood. Kasai takes the gusset plate board off the ropes and lays it down on the canvas and gives Masada a DDT onto it. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is he going to do? Oh, DDT right on the gusset plates. Kasai goes for the pin and only gets a two count, so he picks up the gusset plate board and leans Masada against it and kicks it into his head. Kasai goes for the pin and only gets a two count, so he picks up the gusset plate board and throws it outside the ring, and then he gives Masada a scoop slam and blows a snot rocket in his face. Oh. Oh. 
The Psy sets up a chair in the ring and then grabs a second chair and sets that up and he gets a pane of glass and puts a cross on it with the blood on his forehead and he puts it on top of Masada and climbs on the top rope and puts his goggles on and gives him a splash through all of it. He's, got a, he's getting ready to fly! He's getting ready to fly here at the Meadowlands Expo Center! And the, the crazy monkey is about to go bananas! Oh! oh that... Masai only gets a two count again, so he climbs back on the top turnbuckle and he puts his goggles on and gives him another splash, but Masada puts his knees up. Well, here at WrestleCon, and Drew Kasai heading back upstairs here at the combat zone. Oh, getting it, losing his footing, getting it right back. Goggles in place, saluting the troops. Oh! Kasai is fucking covered in blood all over his face, and Masada comes up with skewers and tries to stick him into his head, but Kasai blocks it. As much punishment as him is his challenger tonight, Jude Kasai, the crazy monkey. Uh-oh, and here we go. Oh, God, him is in his damn eye. I don't know if Kasai just wasn't down to do that spot or what, but Masada gives him a forearm and Irish whips him into the opposite corner and runs at him and Kasai moves out of the way and kicks him and gives him an insiguri and then tries to stick the skewers in his head, but they don't stick in. On that left leg there. Oh no. Crazy Monkey's got the skewers now. Oh, oh. Live by the skewers, die by the skewers. Drew Kasai now panning them in. Kasai says fuck it and goes for a tiger driver and Masada reverses it at first and then Kasai gives it to him again. Uh, Drew Kasai goes for a tiger driver I believe. Masada able to get out of it. Kasai going for it again. Kasai oh. goes for the pin and only gets a two count again so he stands up and he hypes the crowd up and he gets on the top turnbuckle to jump off and some bitch with a giant mohawk interferes. This unbelievable what we're seeing right now. Masada and the crazy monkey. Here we go. Goggles in place again. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. That's Christina Von Erie. She's all. Oh, who would try to... Christina Von Erie nutted Kasai on the top rope and she walks around and gets into the ring and gets the skewers and tries to put them into Kasai's head but they don't go in again and Masada tries them again and they still don't go in. Oh! And she... Masada grabs the skewers one more time and pounds him into Jun Kasai's face and then gives him a superplex off the top rope and he has a fucking couple skewers stuck in his face. God oh, that's just a oh, oh, oh god, they're just above the eyebrow, right in the forehead. Oh! Into the Kasai somehow kicks out at two and no sells it and gets up and Masada gives him a regal plex and goes for another pin. There's a regal plex from a... Sada goes for the pin and gets a two count, and he picks up Kasai and goes for a power bomb and pretty much drops him on his fucking head for the three count. Bumpy still kicks out. Oh! It's the blood. He just slipped out of the grip. The bloody... I don't know if the two men weren't sure what move they were supposed to do or if Kasai was just so covered in blood that he slipped. Out of the grip. The bloody carcass. Masada won the match, but the fans in the crowd sound pretty pissed. Masada celebrates in the ring by tonguing down Christina Von Erie in front of everyone. Once again, but would this have happened if it wasn't for Christina Von Erie? Christina Von Eri has Masada mesmerized right now as the two make out and celebrate. I think Masada the exits to the ring with Christina Von Eri and they make their way into the back and we get a shot of Kasai in the ring covered in blood and he sees all the fans are still watching so he jumps up and down onto his back onto the fucking broken glass for them. We return in eight days. Best of the best 12. Live from the Flyers Skate Zone in Voorhees, New Jersey. Live on CZWIPPV.com.
And we'll let you decide. Sign us off now. Ty exits the ring and makes his way into the back, and that's a wrap on this match, guys. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I had a lot of requests to do this match, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But shout out to Moise Navid on my Discord for sending it to me. I had never seen this match in full before this. I had only seen that one CZW clip that they have on their YouTube channel, and that was the only clip I could find from it for so long. The match was awesome as fuck, but I have no idea what that was at the end with that powerbomb. I know I just covered a Jinkasai match last video, but I decided to knock out one more. If you guys would like to show me some support and see Patreon exclusive content, such as the videos Too Crazy for YouTube, Patreon exclusive matches and the events i filmed go to patreon.com slash 561 it does not come up on the patreon app you have to pull out your browser and type in patreon.com slash 561 special shout out and major thank you to thomas sanchez damian edgerton andrew logan flanagan it's duck sandwich films matt watts crashy wolfie kohaku garrett mcnulty grant stoppel juan luis gonzalez jack egan ben ailing ceo and neo kniff you guys are the fucking best love all you guys Later.